So the Terra 2.0 fork has happened. The Genesis file has been created and now the old Luna's gone to Terra Classic and the new one is trading as just Luna. What am I going to do? Am I going to be buying this Luna? And you guys know I've been publicly, publicly talking down about Luna, but I may well be buying some Luna. All will be clear in this video. So make sure you watch till the very end. Hit up the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, if you want to trade this new Terra Luna, links in the description. Check out OKX for some of the best trading fees. Even if you just download the app, you're going to get up to $500 in a mystery box. So get yourself over there. Trade Terra Luna, which was what we're going to look at today. So what I want to show you is the chart because you've got Terra Luna now starting to be traded on various different exchanges. So I'm using OKX here. And as you can see, they've opened up. These are the minute candles literally about 10 minutes or so ago. We've got the first 10 candles here. Different exchanges have opened up at different price points and are all trading at different times. So be very, very careful. And I'm going to walk you through what to expect here. Now, as a caveat, you guys know I do not I fundamentally do not, fundamentally do not believe in Terra 2.0 at this time of recording, okay? So there will not be a single Luna 2 or Luna, whatever you want to call it, new Luna or Luna 2 bought by me with the intention to hold and invest fundamentally for the long run. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about whether it makes sense to do a couple of trades because as you can see, the volatility is absolutely insane, okay? You've got some crazy price action. And for me, this now forms into extreme kind of meme coin momentum territory with high attention, a lot of people talking about it, a lot of volume and so many dynamics, which makes it interesting with your trader's hat on, not as an investor at all. This has no part of my long-term portfolio and you could seriously get wrecked when playing around with this coin. So if you're buying right now, Let's just take a few moments just to address. If you're buying right now to hold this because you believe in the new Luna, we're trading currently here on OKX. Again, links in description. You can play around with this. $17 uh, here. Now, remember, what, is it, what did the file say? The uh, proposal which got passed said 1 billion will be printed. Okay, so do the maths. 17 billion seventeen dollars times a billion gives you a fully diluted market cap of 17 billion dollars let's put that into perspective for you guys so this terror which is just launched given all the legacy all the troubles behind them is sitting currently okay let's just show you this it's sitting currently at market caps of 17 billion that puts it just under xrp about the same as binet uh, busd in terms of market cap bigger than ada bigger than solana at the current market conditions. So you guys need to be extremely careful when you're buying and understanding this from a fundamental perspective. I made very clear, this is not a fundamental trade for me, but I am willing and open to trading. I spoke about that yesterday. In this kind of market downturn type environment, I'm open to looking for opportunities to play a little bit of volatility and use some experience in trading. Now, trading is a very different mindset to in investing. Investing is for the long run. You guys know that. Trading can only happen with a hypothesis. You have a hypothesis of where the price is going. You have an entry point. You have a stop loss and you have a take profit. You are not in it for the long run. You choose your time frame. Like I'm going to be in it for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm going to be in it for an hour, a couple of hours or half a day, a day. And that's how you trade. Okay. So very different mindset. You do not, I repeat, you do not want to be caught holding a bag of this coin. You do not. Guys, it's crazy. Now, the other thing which is really important is because it's still so early, literally, this is still breaking news, right? It's a Saturday morning here. It's breaking news. Things are developing each and every hour. They've just literally created the Genesis file. Different exchanges are not letting you withdraw. So don't get caught out doing that, okay? So remember, there's a lot of um, exchanges now not letting you deposit Luna from other places. So you may want to take your Luna out of another exchange and put it into OKX. You can't do that, okay? So at the moment, there's different restrictions. Now, that may change by the time I upload this. It may change in a couple more hours or a day or two, but they're doing it to let the price stabilize. Really important that they let the price stabilize. And you'll see that what will happen over time, this is what happens with any new kind of project, is the price will start to stabilize across all the different exchanges, okay? So you see, seeing here, we're sitting here at about $14 now uh, here on Luna, which is about the price I last saw it on Bybit as well. So you're starting to see that kind of stabilize. 
Um, now, the question is, what do we want to see happen? Well, you want to see some structures start to form. You won't see structures this quickly, but over a couple of hours, we can start to see what patterns are forming, try to see, do we create any support levels? And then you can trade the volatility because there's going to be a lot of volatility. There are so many different dynamics. So many people know about Luna. So the attention is large globally. Okay, so people will be looking to trade it. There will be large volume candles. There will be excitement. There'll be people also, uh, when they're able to, they'll be dumping their bags, right? Because for some people, if they've got a decent amount, of Luna sitting at $12, $13, they may want to sell that. You're seeing some sell action happen here as well. These are people taking their Luna and trying to sell it into the market. So that's what you want to worry out for. Well, keep an eye out for okay but the, the the reality is there is where there is volatility there is opportunity to make a trade and make some profit and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you have strict risk management you only trade what you're willing to lose like a really really tiny percentage of your portfolio because right now when you're trading something like luna you're not it's very different to trading something like bitcoin okay even if you're trading something like bitcoin you should only invest a little bit because it's your part of your trading portfolio not your investing portfolio but for luna something like this which is just just for Genesis file, loads of crazy stuff going on, a really small part, guys. So whatever you were thinking to probably trade in it, maybe halve that amount in your head so you've got a little bit of a buffer, you know, enjoy it, right? Learn how to trade. This is the thing. A lot of people take trading as a very nervy kind of big thing to do. Learn to play with it. Reduce the size. That's always the key. Reduce the size and you're going to find trading much more enjoyable because you can take a couple of losses. You're like, okay, I'll get it back on the third one. And then what you find is your third, fourth trade covers all the losses of your previous three. That's what the best traders do. They risk manage it, but they only need to be right 35, 40% of the time, but their risk management is such that when they win the 35, 40% of the time, it, uncover, it covers for the losses from the 60, 65% losses that they had, okay? So really important that you understand that. We've also got Do Kwon, obviously, awake again, starting to tweet to view your Luna or Luna 2. Some exchanges are calling it Luna 2, so do watch out for that. Token balances, you only need to log into station and refresh the page. Uh, for new users coming in from IBC, create a station wallet with the same ledger and station should you walk through the remaining steps. Okay, you're also seeing him tweet that a bunch of different exchanges are supporting this. I just want to reiterate, guys, you are going to get wrecked if you're holding. I just want to make sure, you know, because people on YouTube sometimes get the wrong message. I am not vouching for Luna long run at all, right? If I'm playing with this, I'm playing for, with it as a trade. Like, I don't see anything that's exciting for me. Uh, for Luna, if you're buying at these valuations, looking to hold, you're, I just showed you, you're buying now at a market cap of ada of solana fully diluted it's crazy it's insane okay so you want to watch out for that you also want to watch out for the fact that if you go to the proposal you will see here that the bits that have the the um the unlocks so far have only been very little right you had 30 percent for people with wallets less than 10k of luna they got 30 percent unlocked today at genesis okay you also had those who held um where is that here for those who had pre-attack ust they got a little bit 30 percent unlocked at genesis and then you had a little bit here and a little bit here so the rest the vast majority is going to come after a one-year cliff and then two years so the, the issue with holding luna for a long period of time you're gonna have constant constant unlocks and sell pressure on this token so those of you who are playing around with it, make sure you're doing it with a short-term mindset. Make sure you know what you're doing. You've calculated your risk. You know when you're in. You know when you're out. Only willing to invest what you're willing to lose uh, and all the basics. Make sure you keep that in check because this, it just doesn't stack up right now. This is, like I said, clearly a project built to try to take care of the developers from the previous project. So it just does not stack up for me. And uh, a lot of people, as soon as their new Luda is worth a little bit of money, if it, even if it is today, they will be selling. Because as far as they was, as far as they were concerned, and you need to understand their psychology, if you had a bunch of money invested in the old Luna, and then suddenly it was worth zero, and now suddenly you're given an unlock, which is actually worth a little bit of money, maybe even 20% of what you had in, maybe 10% of what you already had in the old Luna, maybe you're just going to cash it in and take that cash take that cash and call it a day, right? You're not going to believe in Luna for the next two, three years because the project is fundamentally different. It's not the same project. They don't have an algorithmically backed stable coin. Do Kwon's lost, lost his appeal. The mission of the project is completely different. So you've got to judge it on its own merits. So there you go, guys. If any new updates come on Luna, or if I see a specific trade, which I want to trade once the price settles down, I will let you guys know in another video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. If you want to trade Luna, the new Luna, head over to OKX. Links in the description. Mystery box worth up to five hundred dollars just for downloading the app you don't even need to deposit anything you just download the okay app okx okx app get yourself set up using my link in the description and you're going to get this mystery box straight away thanks for watching this video guys and i'll see you in the next one